guys welcome back to my channel we're in a different setting today i wanted to make it a little bit more intimate because we're going to be talking about something that's a little personal to me it's actually really personal today if you couldn't tell by the title we're going to be talking about how i manage my chacne and chacne is acne that happens on your chest if you didn't know what that was so i have suffered from chacne since i think puberty started for me which is about like 16 15 16 my freshman year so what your 14 15 freshman year and onwards and i learned a lot about how to take care of my chest acne and not to be embarrassed by it and to really just understand that this is just part of my skin but there are things i can do to make sure that breakouts and reactions don't occur as much and when they do occur how to take care of it so if you want to learn how i do those things just go ahead and keep on watching For me, chest acne didn't become an insecurity until I think I got older, maybe around like 18, 19. And that was when like the camera, I realized the camera was really picking up on it. When it happened in high school, I was cool about it because people thought it was freckles, so I ran with it. I mean, I knew it was chest acne, but people were like, hey, you got freckles on your chest. I'm like, you're right, I do got your freckles on my chest. And I, it was really chest acne. But um, as I got older and I noticed like from taking selfies and like, full body pictures I noticed that um, my chest acne was being more apparent and the camera was really picking it up so for me that really did bother me and I was like how do I fix this and you know what's happening so I think in 2014 it started um, I kicked the habit of drinking soda um, I was a huge soda drinker that was like all that I drank I would just drink soda um, if I drank juice like juice and soda but for the most part it was always soda I always chose soda to drink and I would rarely drink water rare like water was just like the last resort like sometimes I would rather be dehydrated than to drink water like I don't know why but that was just me but when I started working out in 2014 and like started to really just change my bad habits I noticed that the more water I did intake the clearer my chest got and I realized that a lot of sugar intake does break out my chest and it will break out my forehead and my face but for the most part if I drink a lot of sugar it affects my chest the most so well if I intake a lot of sugar so I, I lessened on candy and, and soda and anything that really had a lot of sugar in it and it did make a difference in my chest so that's one like that's the first thing i can tell you is just check your diet make sure that like i'm no esthetician i just want to leave that there i'm no esthetician i'm no dermatologist this is my story this is how i was able to take care of my chest acne how i was able to clear up my scars i do still have breakouts and inflammation happening sometimes like currently my chest is like starting to break out a little bit but that was because of an experiment which i'll get into but i'm no esthetician i'm no dermatologist but these are the things that did work for me so um after doing you know the change of water and soda i started to shave my chest which is because i noticed i had hair on my chest like i don't have a hairy chest like a like a guy and it's like not like like you know i don't want to say gorilla but like it's like it's not super hairy like i don't have a hairy chest but um there's hair and it's very like thin and it's but i i know it's there and i can see it and that bothered me so i was like okay i'll just shave my chest so don't do that don't shave your chest especially not with a razor that you use for your underarms or your legs don't do that no that is gonna cause even more problems I realized once I started shaving with a razor like a hand razor I noticed that it started to inflame there were bumps there were clogged hair follicles all that stuff and I was like oh that's why that's happening let me not do that so don't shave your chest with a hand razor so I stopped shaving my chest with a hand razor and I picked up something new, and that is scissors. So, scissors, don't use these because these are like cutting scissors. Use like eyebrow scissors. So you can trim your, your chest hairs if they do bother you, if you're a person like, I don't want these here. I also feel like laser hair removal will be helpful. I can't afford that, so I do what I can. I use these scissors because that's all that I have, but if you do use like eyebrow scissors because they're thin and they can really get there, use eyebrow scissors and just trim them and cut them that also helps with uh, my inflammation and my breakouts with my chest because once I started like shaving like pulling on the skin and all that stuff like that it really made it worse so if you are a person you are you know you don't like your chest hair or you're insecure about it use scissors to cut it rather than using um, a razor whether it's electric or 
a hand razor because I did try using an electric razor after I cleared up my chest acne scars which is why the inflammation is happening now that's because I was like oh well let me test it out to see if maybe uh, an electric razor will make a difference and it doesn't because my skin just was like no we are not doing that so it had um, inflammation and breakouts so check your diet don't shave with a hand razor or electric razor use scissors and just trim your hairs so those are the first two tips the next tip is next up is cleanser which is the major key here and that is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost cleanser and it has hyaluronic acid and I realized that that's what really made all the difference so before I was washing my chest with my body wash and you know, it just was whatever mom bought. Like, you know, you know, one week she might buy Dove, and then next week she might buy Suave, and then, you know, you're, so my skin wasn't t sticking to something like a routine. It was getting different um, scents and different like textures on it, and it, it just wasn't something stable. I didn't have a concrete routine to my, to my chest. Not until I picked this up. But I didn't pick this up until like October, November, like it, of 2019 like this is recent and that's like why my chest looks good now is because of the, the the new routine that I have so for years I was just switching body washes you know every two weeks or whatever you know mom was like here new body wash because we're out here you go here's a new soap whatever I just kind of was like just using whatever was in the house and sometimes I would have an, a, an allergic reaction to it or just a reaction to the soap and my chest would you know flare up so I'm like okay like I have to be mindful then I started using baby shampoo that made a difference but after a while I was just like I don't feel like getting baby shampoo like sometimes baby shampoo is expensive or baby body wash is expensive but I don't feel like getting it so I was just like eh, whatever I'll just use whatever's in the house then you know my chest started to really flare up so then once 2019 the beginning of 2019 happened I was asking one of my co-workers because she knew a lot about skin I was like you know what should I do with my chest and she's like okay use this this and this so what she told me to use was a, a cleanser for sensitive skin and then she told me to use the Derma E scar gel and then she told me to use the Derma E vitamin C um, serum or something I don't know I don't have them anymore I threw them out because you know they ran its course but um, it helped a little bit my chest acne and scarring did clear up it, it started to clear up but not until I got this guy this is the magic here everything is in this bottle okay um, not until I got this did it really make all the difference so once I ran out I was like okay, like what do I do now so I was like all right I need a cleanser and my sister just so happened to buy the this cleanser here and I was using it and I used it on my chest and I was like my chest feels good and then I kept using it using it using it in the shower I would wash my chest in the shower and then I would put my moisturizer on everything like that because I was told what you use on your face you use on your chest so I would cleanse and then moisturize and I noticed a difference so then you know you put sunscreen on so I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost sunscreen but I don't have any more and I've been struggling to find it because I can't find it at uh, Walmart and I can't find it at Target but I know Ulta has it but I know it's cheaper at Target and Walmart than it is at Ulta which is why I haven't gotten it from Ulta but if that's the only place that I can find it then I just gotta bite the bullet and get it at Ulta but um so back to the story I was like oh my god my chest looks great so let me you know try the the sunscreen because I usually wear shirts that expose my chest so that way my skin's protected and I kept doing it and doing it and doing it and I was like oh my god my chest is changing my chest looks good and it's because of Neutrogena Hydro Boost like that's really it like I wish there was more to it it was obviously it's diet change it's watching my intake of sugar and then it's just really using that cleanser and that sunscreen that made all the difference I tell people all the time that's what I use on my chest and if they ask me like Lisa how'd you clear up your chest like how did you Neutrogena Hydro Boost that's it like I know some people, you know, your skincare may be deeper than that. Maybe that's not the only thing you can use. Then yeah, definitely see an esthetician, definitely see a dermatologist. But this again is how I cleared up my chest acne, how I fixed my issue. And I started using a cleanser that has hyaluronic acid in it. And I use the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserver Moisturizer. Now there's no specific reason why I use this. It's just because I got it in um, an influencer box. And then I just bought, I just bought it, bought it again. I was gonna say purchase. I just bought it again, and I was like, oh, okay, I like it. So I just use this. I mean, 
it's a really nice moisturizer and I do notice a difference in it versus all the other moisturizers I did try before but I do use this on my chest so I cleanse with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost I let it dry and then I put the youth preserver on and then I use the sunscreen I'm using now which is the super goop but I don't really get the hype behind this I don't I I'm using it because I bought it and I just gotta use it until it's up my favorite sunscreen is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost that's both for my face and my chest it doesn't leave a white cast a little bit goes a long way it's not too oily it's not too greasy because that's another problem I have like sometimes I find that some sunscreens are a little bit too oily for my my face not for my chest like my chest is fine with this but uh the Neutrogena Hydro Boost works the best with my chest and my face and that's probably just because of the cleanser like they're I feel like the Hydro Boost collection is just like supposed to all work really well together and they do like the sunscreen is amazing and the, the cleanser is amazing it's really what made my chest be what it is today because I didn't have those Derma E products anymore I didn't have that sensitive skin cleanser anymore I switched to Neutrogena and that's when I saw the difference so my tips to you are definitely like check your diet see hey am I intaking a lot of sugar or am I intaking foods that aren't good for my skin don't shave your chest don't use eyebrow scissors use very like very small scissors thin scissors to just trim them and trust me you can't after you trim them they're like barely there it's not saying that you know you have like these deep thick hairs and even if you do don't shave take scissors and cut them and that way you're not like tearing at the skin and like ripping your skin or pulling on it or it's like dirty you're bypassing all that because you're just trimming it and use a good cleanser. I suggest the, the Neutrogena does just because it worked for me and I don't know anything else but if you're going off of my word this is definitely it. Um, it's a really nice cleanser. It, it does wonders. I swear there's something magical in there. In there. Like they, Neutrogena has like a spell or something that they put on this and like they make sure that like it I don't know it, it's it's amazing okay I don't know what I'm getting at here just know that I'm letting you know that this is an amazing cleanser this is what saved my life okay so now now that I've been filming and now that I've been taking more pictures yes you can see my chest and acne a little bit but it's not as severe as it used to be as you could see in the pictures that I showed before it's not like that and I'm really glad that I'm able to get a hone on my chest acne and being able to really crack down on okay my chest is flaming up what do I need to do now what shouldn't I do and just like really implementing like though that knowledge to taking care of my skin like your chest is just as important as your face and what you do to your face you want to do to your chest I don't know anything about serums and adding toner and that's something I haven't done and I'm afraid to just because I've already gotten like I've gotten my chest to be calm and it's gotten to a routine and it knows what it wants and what it doesn't want so I'm a little weary about that but um if you do want to try it let me know and I might throw it in my routine I might not but let me know if you are a person that's like okay well let me try my toner on it let me know but um I'm not doing that but that's that's what works for me so definitely get a good cleanser I suggest the Neutrogena don't shave check your diet and moisturize put sunblock on it make sure that your skin is your chest is just as protected as your face and that is it that is really how I cleared up my chest acne that's how I take care of my chest that's how my chest doesn't look like this anymore and this picture right here this is a year ago that is literally a year ago that is April 2019 and this is my chest April 2020 difference and that's literally just not shaving my chest because I think around that time I was shaving my chest and I probably shouldn't have and I, I knew in my head because I remember like standing in the shower I was like yeah don't do this and I was just like we're already doing it but scissors not a hand razor not an electric razor I roll scissors so that is it for this video like that's that's really all I have to tell you is Neutrogena Hydro Boost cleanser and sunscreen and moisturizer and don't shave your chest and make sure that you're taking care of your skin in the sense of what you intake with foods so um that's it that's literally it quick short straight to the point I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you want to see a video on this eye look I was gonna do it anyway stay tuned and look for it and I will see you guys in my next video again I gotta go because I'm repeating myself see you guys